Here's Rob's 24 hour forecast. Well, as promised, it feels like winter out there. Currently 43 degrees with a stiff west northwest wind gusting to 25 last hour. That's yielding a wind chill of 36 and the clouds are gradually clearing out and we are going to see temperatures dropping already down at 39 Opelousas, 38 Alexandria, 39 in Oakdale. This is the spot where we're going to get down to freezing tonight. So make sure you take care of the tender vegetation. Bring those tomatoes indoors for sure. Uh, clouds gradually thinning out across southwest Louisiana. We did see some breaks as the sun has been going down and it will clear out. Those winds though also diminish later on tonight as a weak ridge of high pressure moves in and we'll find ourselves down into the mid 30s tonight. 35 in Lafayette but lower 30s near freezing northern portions of Acadiana. We'll detail that in the main weathercast. Frost likely especially in the northern parishes for sure as winds diminish. Then tomorrow after a chilly start a mild finish with lots of sunshine. Breeze Southwest winds will bring our temperatures back into the low to mid 60s and there's no looking back milder conditions as we head into the weekend and next week spring like with spring showers more on that and the complete true view forecast coming up in just a bit. I 10 eastbound is back open tonight after being shut down for nearly nine hours near Henderson. It happened around 330 yesterday when a series of 18 wheeler crashes blocked the eastbound lanes. Some drivers were stuck in the initial backup the entire time as traffic continued to flow toward the crash until 9 o'clock. That's when the interstate eastbound side was closed at I-49. A lack of communication was ultimately to blame for allowing eastbound traffic to continue to flow, adding to the backup. We can't close the road in someone else's jurisdiction. Um, that has to be done by the state. Students at North Vermilion High School are displaying a shoe art project to remember those who died during the Holocaust. Four art classes came together and spent about three weeks creating 150 different pairs of shoes for the sculpture. Pictures of the Holocaust and a brief explanation of what the shoes represent are also on display there as well. In Scott at Westside Elementary School, students celebrated Black History Month. The Kabuki Dancers, a performing arts group in Acadiana, entertained the students, aiming to inspire them through dance and a positive message. They look at hip hop is the biggest is the new rock and roll is the biggest genre right now. So like and that was created from black music that was created from jazz and funk music. So it's like we really created that. So I want them to just be reminded how important black culture is and how beautiful it is and just how much of an influence it's had on like all culture. Happening now, the St. Jude Radiothon is underway at KPL Radio Station today and tomorrow listeners can tune in to donate to hear the stories of those involved with the Children's Research Hospital and hear from patients as well. This year's goal is to raise $200,000 for the children of St. Jude. In state news now, three people are dead in a plane crash in Jackson Parish. Authorities say the crash happened north of Chatham on Highway 34. The aircraft has been identified as a small Cessna and was reportedly traveling from Jackson to Shreveport. To Lake Charles now, where state the Department of Public Health confirms an outbreak of the norovirus at Loberge Casino in Lake Charles. A number of people became sick there after a ball. Norovirus is highly contagious and causes gastrointestinal illness. In Baton Rouge, Governor Edwards' budget proposal tomorrow will include $103 million in funds already rejected by the Republican legislature. Those funds are budgeted to pay for education financing increases. The move comes after new Republican leaders refuse to adopt the governor's income projections. Still ahead, UL men's basketball getting ready for their game tonight against Georgia State. We'll have a live preview a bit later on in sports. And tonight is a night to be indoors watching basketball. Too cold to be outside. The details of Rob's full forecast coming up right after this. BC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back and welcome back to winter. A winter chill in the air tonight. Temperatures getting close to freezing across many portions of Acadiana. Probably not laugh yet, but not far away from that level. And uh, interestingly enough, as I was looking at the satellite imagery this afternoon, watching the clouds clear, which by the way, it's cleared out over here at the station. Uh, this is a little bit earlier looking at the visible satellite imagery. You can see the clouds eroding from the west, but more importantly, check this out. Snow on the ground across the 
the Texas high plains from uh, right by the Guadalupe Mountains on northeastward through the Red River and into Oklahoma as well. And you can tell this is a lot of snow. It doesn't melt too quickly in some spots. More than a foot of snow fell with this system. So uh, very interesting satellite imagery this evening. Now that same system producing snow in the northeast. Heavy duty rains and the threat of severe weather along the southeast U.S. Uh, tornado watches going from north central Florida all the way up through North Carolina and there's been heavy rains and floodings from Gatlinburg across all of the upstate areas of North South Carolina into Georgia as well. So a rough go with this system. Fortunately, we were just at the stage where it was getting its act together and thus we only had just a few severe thunderstorms yesterday afternoon. Now the clouds are clearing out. It's been breezy as we showed you earlier that temperature at 43, the wind chill at 36 and that uh, it's going to be a wind chilly night. But as the night wears on, the wind gradually dies down and that allows for maximum cooling tonight. So 35, the projected low, we could even get down to 33 or 34 and laugh yet. So uh, protect the plants and make sure the pets have a warm place to stay. And then tomorrow, courtesy of a nice breeze out of the southwest, uh, we're going to see cooler conditions in the afternoon, but uh, certainly not too bad getting back into the low to mid 60s, which is pretty much on mark for this time of year. Going into Saturday, a little bit of a weak frontal trough pushing on through may generate an isolated shower, but I got rain chance at 20%. We'll say partly cloudy. Some of you will see a mostly sunny day. Temperatures starting out in the mid to upper 40s Saturday and then getting into the upper 60s Saturday afternoon under fair to partly cloudy skies. Looking at the Euro model, looking ahead through the weekend, pretty much the same story. Clouds be begin to increase on Sunday. We get back into the 70s, but Sunday night into Monday, showers and thunderstorms developing, so it looks to be a little bit of a stormy one on Monday. I'm not expecting severe weather at this point, uh, but notice this. This is the time of year where fronts get close to our area and they kind of waffle back and forth, so I think that's what we see for much of next week with a lot of green around the area and the threat of more showers and storms toward the end of next week as well. Here we are in the fantasy land of the extended outlook. Maybe some rain next Friday and maybe pretty good weather as we start off the big Mardi Gras festivities going into the following weekend. Temperature wise tonight, it's going to be a cold one right near freezing or below Kinderville, Platte, Opelousas, all expected to go into the lower 30s, perhaps even upper 20s, Oakdale on northward. So make sure the plants are covered mid 30s tonight, I-10 quarter, do the same there. Make sure the pets have a warm shelter and mid to upper 30s along the coast. Fortunately, not much wind chill out there because the winds will be calm first thing tomorrow morning. So dress up and bundle up tomorrow morning, but you can shed a layer or two for tomorrow afternoon in the mid 60s. Tomorrow night we hold in the 40s and then going into uh, your Saturday upper 60s once again, maybe 70 in a few spots. Are we going to be done with the freezes after this? Well, climatology says no. This is the average last freeze date. As you get close to the coast, it's earlier. And then as you go farther to the north, it's deeper into March, generally for Acadiana between February 25th and March 5th. I don't see any more freezes over the next 10 days, but that does not cover the last week of February into the first week of March. So hold off on the spring plantings at least for right now. Weed and feed you can do probably a little bit later this month. So frosty in spots first thing tomorrow morning. Beautiful sunshine during the day with temperatures topping out in the low to mid 60s tomorrow afternoon. And as we head into the weekend, a mixture of clouds and sun. Pretty good looking weekend all in all. We'll keep those rain chances low. Upper 60s to lower 70s this weekend. Milder initially on Monday. A good chance of rain and storms on Monday at 80% at just about at any time. And rain chances stay with us most of next week. And maybe a little bit cooler toward the end of next weekend into the following weekend, but we reserve the right to reserve to change the last okay. six to ten days of Perhaps the day another forecast. Chill down. Yes, in the winter time it changes a lot. Mm -hmm, sure does. All right. Thanks, Rob.